What's going on, YouTube? I am Sick Flows back with another video. Today, we're checking out Mark the Graves, Linkin Park, from their Hunting Party album, man. Definitely excited to check this out. Uh, I do see that it's a music video that's like five minutes long, so I know when Linkin Park does something that long, it's probably going to have a cool-ass video message to it, man. So I'm definitely excited to check this out. If you guys are as well, slap that like button like you never slapped any. Man, just, just like, just like a little bit like, Just, just, just slap that like button, guys. And don't forget to subscribe and notification bells on. Let me know your favorite song from this album down in the comments below. Also, let me know why. I'm telling you guys, as soon as I finish reacting to this entire album, I will. I'm not even sure if I'm going to make a live stream out of it or a video. But it will be some type of video, whether it's a live stream or a video of me saying my top three songs. And why? Maybe it'll be a full listen doing the entire album and then giving you guys my top three i'm not sure let me know how you guys want to see it do you guys want me to live stream that or do you guys want me to make it into a video let me know down in the comments below man and without further ado let's get into the video boy yeah. all right mark the graves linking park the hunting party album uh, again i'm excited to check out what this music video is about and again let's try get into it man okay i like the soft guitar Ooh, bass just kicked in okay yeah yeah That was everything. That was everything. I love how they just did that. They started off by adding instrument to instrument, and then they stopped it for half a second, maybe a second, and then boom, and you get a different sound. I fucking love. Man, let's rewind that shit, man. Let's let's rewind that. Let's rewind that. Let's rewind that. Hold on. Here we go. Look right here. Look. Go. Oh, yeah. Woo. I thought it was the music video too, man. I fucked up. It's not the music video. Ooh. Oh my god. Why are they doing this to me, man? Why are they doing... I love how they just did that, bro. Like, what? It's like if the guy was like... Just, ah. Uh, like, maybe like practicing. I don't know what it was, but this is awesome, bro. This this right here, I love the pauses that they're taking. I, I'm going to... I'm My mind is going to be blown right now. The instruments that they're playing, the way that they're playing the fucking guitar right now and adding drums and bass and kick to it. I absolutely love. I think they're so talented for doing this, man, the way they're doing it here. Let's get it. Oh, my goodness. What is that right there? I know that's a guitar, but what is that other sound? Things are fragile and we play with the ghosts of yesterday. If we can't let go, we'll never say goodbye. No trace of what remains. No stones to mark the graves. Only memories we thought we could deny. Oh, I almost got the fuck up and walked away. I almost got up and walked away. I literally wish that there was a camera, a secondary camera recording me 
from a different angle so that when I got up and walked away, y'all saw that I got up and walked. Bro, the way that he was singing it, so gentle, amazing. I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. I know it's a little early to set 10 out of 10. But what I love that they did in this song too is that they didn't overpower his vocals. They didn't play too many instruments. They didn't play him at even the instruments that they had playing were not being played at a high volume. Therefore, really letting you listen to the lyrics. And I feel like the reason they did that is because of what the lyrics are saying. There's a fragile game we play with the ghosts of yesterday. If we can't let go, we'll never say goodbye. Um, if you really think about it, man, uh, if you hold on to the past, whether that's a person or a thing, you can't never let go, right? So it, I feel like in this right here is just like, yo, let go of the past, learn to move forward. You can't say goodbye to the past if you still have the past with you. Does that even make sense? Does that, does that, does it make sense now? You can't let go of the past if you carry the past with you everywhere you go. The past is called the past for a reason. Leave it behind. You will never be able to say goodbye. Thank you, Dr. Flows, for explaining. You have to go now. Let, let's get back into these lyrics, into the, the music, man, because absolutely loving it, man. No chorus? Damn, that's dark. Hold on, that is dark. That listen, man. Let me let me reread the lyrics, right, and then explain it. There was so much more to lose than the pain I put you through. In my carelessness, I left you in the dark, right? Right there. It is just letting the person know that he cares about that. Hey, there's much more than losing what you went through with me have your life to lose you may have this and that to lose right but there's a lot more than just what i did right and then he's saying in my carelessness i left you in the dark when people don't really care they leave others in the dark like whether it's like leaving them in the dark about something that's going on um not communicating with that person uh a lot of things right so i think that's what he meant by that right and the blood may wash away but the scars will never fade basically saying not, I don't think it's physical abuse right there that he's talking about, but in the blood may, may wash away, but the scars will never fade. He's just saying that like the wound is there. The wound is there and they cared about that person so much that no matter what happens, that scar will always be with them. They will always remember that experience. And then he goes to saying, at least I know somehow I made it mark. Maybe saying like, at least I know that with the pain that I put you through and that I left a mark and a scar, that means that you cared about me. as well. Which, damn, that is deep. To care somebody so much, but then you're also not caring, losing the person and affecting the person so much that the person will forever have that scar and that making you feel some type of way because you know that they'll always carry you with them. Holy shit. I love this song. And again, I may be wrong. Genius didn't break it down. This is my own breakdown. I'm just a fucking guy on YouTube. Sometimes I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Sometimes I'm wrong, but sometimes I'm fucking right. And this is one of those times that I'm right, I feel like. I'm just saying. Woo! Woo! What? Oh, my. 
my god! Hey, this is a cool ass song when it comes to the instrument, for sure. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, bro. Ooh. Oh. Oh, he's gonna finish it with a tough, soft touch. Okay. Oh my God! I love how he's giving that. Oh my God! I'm mind blown. My God. What? And then with the guitar, I like this. Alright guys, uh, that was Mark the Graves by Linkin Park. Uh, I, I want to talk about this, man. First of all, shout outs to Brad Delson, man, for the guitar work on this track, man. Absolutely incredible with the guitar that you just played, man. Absolutely incredible. Let's talk about this. The only thing that genius is breaking down is nothing left, nothing right. Literally the only thing that they break down. Um, and it says clever double word play on the double meanings of the two words left and right, meaning in the first instance that whether it be dark or light, nothing can be found either direction left or right. And secondly, also meaning that in both lows and highs represented by dark and light, there is nothing left behind and also that nothing that can be found is the right thing. Okay, some wordplay there. Again, this is not verified, but I like that that breakdown there. Uh, another thing about the nothing left and nothing right. I love how he's singing nothing left. And then when he comes in with that nothing right, like singing it like that, like screaming. Again, I've said this in the last few reactions. Uh, we've seen Chester cut down on the streaming. A lot of people thought that it was because he was losing his voice. A lot of people are 100% sure it's because of that. And I'm one of those that think that he was just trying to not harm his vocals anymore that he's probably has done. Um, I don't think he lost his voice though, but I do like that in a song, he still throws that little bit of screaming out. You know what I mean? Like just, he still throws it out. He doesn't excessively use it, but he still gives you a little bit of it just to let you know, I can still fucking do. It. And I love that about Chester, man. Uh, this is one of those songs that after I'm listening to Chester sing, and it's only a Chester vocal only song, it gets me in like in a sad moment to realize that he's no longer with us here physically, but in spirit, he still lives, man. Uh, a lot of his songs and a lot of the Linkin Park songs lately have been uh, helping me, you know, and I know that they've helped a lot of people. I know that there's people that message me daily telling me how Linkin Park has saved them. There's people that are, are depressed that they lost Chester. And for those people that are depressed that Chester is gone, man, stop mourning Chester and appreciate the life that he lived. Appreciate the fact that when he was here on earth, he did whatever he could to help others. And even after he's gone physically, he's still here helping people with his music. That's what I love about music, man. Music is a beautiful thing. And it will forever live on, no matter what. His songs and Linkin Park songs will forever live on. And I'm sorry for getting so emotional about it, man. I'm just, I love Chester. I love this song, man. 
And I actually, it might be on my top three, man. I have to see what the other three songs of the album are like. But this is one that is for sure to be remembered, man. Let me know what you guys thought about this down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this reaction video and what I have to say, make sure you guys share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you guys want. Share it with your friends, family members, ex-lovers. I don't care who. Share it with everybody, guys. Let's grow this Flow Nation family. Slap that like button and subscribe with notification bells on and follow me on all my social medias right here, boy. And I'll see you guys next time with another one.